Now, the Hastings District Mayor is Lawrence Yule. Just before we came on air, I asked him if the council is in a position to offer business owners any kind of compensation. No, we're not. But I know the government is likely tomorrow to announce a package uh, which will be um, really helpful for them um, in terms of, as I understand, it's going to support people that have been off work, uh, people for being ill themselves, people who have been off work looking after sick, um, sick family, and people who haven't been out of work because of um, you know the workplace has been closed. So, and I also think there's some other immediate hardship issues around rent and power bills and things like that. And, and but what my council is doing to support that is working with the business association to see what we can do as part of an economic, you know, resurrection package. Um, okay, and, sorry, uh, can I cut in there? You, have you seen this package, this compensation package from the government? Are you in possession of it? Do you have it in advance of the announcement tomorrow? Uh, I've got a, I've got a suggested draft of a, of an announcement for tomorrow. And that, who, and uh, that's coming from which minister? Um, I don't know the minister. It's just coming from the government that I'm aware of. Um, it's just been given to me as the, as a, we as a courtesy, yes, almost. As a courtesy. Yeah. yeah courtesy. Okay. Yep, yep. And. Uh, as the mayor of the Hastings district, and you will know many of the people involved, and you will know many of the businesses involved, do you feel this is a fair and reasonable response from the government? Uh, for a start, I don't know the amount or what the, you know, what are the exact criteria, so I can't answer that, and, and that that will be no doubt uh, put out tomorrow. But I think their attempt, and I think it's actually a really genuine attempt to help those people that are. You know, been significantly um, sort of financially harmed by this. I think it's a really good a, a good thing they're doing. Now, what I can't say is how much people are getting paid and all that. That's all in the terms. But I think they've covered off the people that have been made vulnerable or disadvantaged by this. Okay, and so this will be on the table for people to consider tomorrow. Correct. Will they have to work through a government agency to get that? How will people get access to money if indeed money is available? Yes, I think it will be through a government agency. Um, it's likely to be through work and income, as I understand it. OK, and so that's for individuals, people made sick, who yep. were unable to work and therefore have lost either uh, sick days or salary. What about businesses? Well, businesses, I, I think we are still working with businesses as a, as a council. Um, and so, um, we, and we're looking at a business sort of, you know, restoration type package. Um, I can't give you the details of what the government might be doing in that space yet because I don't know. Uh, but but certainly we are we are very cognizant that there has been some you know damage to businesses out there. Th thousands of dollars. Is, so yes. I've spoken to one yes. business who says they've lost tens of thousands of dollars. Well, I haven't heard that myself. But I, I mean they have lost thousands and thousands of dollars. There's no question about that. Um, and they some of them lose it in different in different forms. Um, if your business was closed. Uh, and your employees couldn't come to work, um, and you still have to pay them, even though you're getting no income, that's one. Um, some businesses closed because the employees were so sick that they couldn't have enough employees to be at bus in businesses. And a, a large number had a whole you know, whole week where it was sort of like a ghost town and there was nobody buying anything. Right, so what now, do you say to those people? What is going to be the council's offer and or the government's offer to those business owners? Uh, I don't know that yet, and uh, we are looking at a variety of options. I've met with the Business Association in Havelock North. I've asked them to tell me how they thought we should do this. They've come back to me with some options which we're considering, and I'm putting those, that to my councillors on Thursday. And what afternoon. options are you considering? Oh, there's all sorts of options, but I think it's going to get difficult to get down to individual-type, means-tested type package of one, one business versus another. So we're trying to make this as simple as possible uh, in a way that will benefit the majority that is reasonably fair. OK, and so, so to summarise what we've learnt uh, from this discussion, workers who are out of pocket through loss of income, it's your understanding that they will be able to go through wins and get some form of financial compensation. Businesses, you are still working with your council and the local Chamber of Commerce... Uh, and, business and, association. Sorry, business association, sorry, business association yeah. to come back with a formal, meaningful offer. Correct. Correct. So we're just learning that from Lawrence Yule, the mayor of Hastings District. Uh, that's what he's been told. That's what he believes is going to happen both tomorrow and later in the week.